What is up everyone, Jin Hao here back with another crypto mining tutorial. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how to mine Zero with your GPU. So if you're into it, let's move on. Zero, also known as Super Zero, has frequently popped out as the most profitable coin to be mined for quite a number of GPUs lately. And there is really limited updated information that I could find about it. The white paper of Zero or Super Zero outlines the project's goals and the problems it seeks to solve. But there is this very limited active discussion on this project on the internet. The subreddit community is also not that active and there are even people who were asking whether this project is dead. Nonetheless, there are still three working mining pools out there supporting Zero, at least according to mining pool stats stream. And I remembered previously, F2 pool was supporting Zero as well, but F2 pool has ditched that since last year, I believe. So from a fundamental standpoint, there's really nothing much I could comment about. The only reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because some of you would like to mine the most profitable coin and quickly swap into the cryptocurrencies that you want to accumulate or simply you know, cashing out in fiat or USDT. And Zero happened to be on the top of the list quite frequently, especially recently. Other than this reason, I'm unsure what are the reasons that you are looking into Zero, and I have limited experience with Zero, like, you know, staking or running nodes. Yes, you could stake Zero for some return, as Zero is both proof of work and proof of stake, just like Flux that I've just covered previously. So Zero, it is GPU mineable with the ProcPile algorithm and also stakeable with either solo staking or staking nodes. But according to one of the comments in the Zero subreddit thread, there is a person who has tried to stack Zero but unable to unstake for some unknown and unspecified reasons. And the support team just couldn't be reached and I have no clue what's happening. I have no experience with that as well. So for this video, it is just going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to mine Zero with your GPUs in Windows. So let's move on. To mine any cryptocurrency, you will need four things as usual. Hardware, wallet, miner or mining software, and then a mining pool. So let's go into all of these right now. At the point of recording this uh, video tutorial, the DAG size of Zero is slightly above 3 GB, coming in at 3.05 GB. Therefore, you will need GPUs of at least 4 GB of VRAM in order to mine Zero. For this demonstration, I'll be using this GPU right over here on my test bench, which is the RTX 2060, the 6 GB version, and this is by Zotac. The next thing you will need is a wallet. Now, this is where the mining rewards will be deposited into. As usual, you can use the official wallet for Zero, of course, or you can also mine into an exchange wallet address if you prefer to swap your zero to other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum quickly or cash out into fiat. If you want to download the official zero wallet, you can go to the official website of zero at zero.cash. No worries, all the things mentioned, the links will be in the description below and download the official wallet. It is under the product at the navigation bar. Now, if you want to do staking, then it would be better to mine into the official Zero uh, wallet because I believe that you would need to stake from there. For this tutorial, I'll be mining into an exchange as I have limited understanding on this project and therefore, the only reason, you know, the only thing I'm interested in this is just mining for the profits and swap to cryptocurrencies that I want to hold quickly via an, an exchange. So, just for your reference, the, the exchange that I'll be using will be gate.io. Next, you will need a miner or mining software. There are a few miners that you can use to mine Zero. Now for this demonstration, I'll be using our good old T-Rex miner as I have an NVIDIA GPU right over here. Now if you are mining with an NVIDIA GPU, I highly recommend T-Rex miner. If you are mining with an AMD GPU, you can use NB miner. As for mining pool, you can go to miningpoolstats.stream and search for Zero and see what are the available mining pools out there. As you can see from this list, you do not have many choices basically. You only have three choices. The one at the top is 
the uh, official pool by Ciro itself and I will just go ahead and use it. Now, one thing to note is that the top mining pool, which is Ciro official pool themselves, has more than 50% of the network hash rate. So if you want to support decentralization, you might want to mine with other mining pools in the list. But if you are all into profits, anyone will do. In fact, the top one would be a better one, I believe. I personally have not tried the other two mining pools, so I couldn't give you any input here. But as for the pool by Ciro themselves, I have no issue with it uh, at least during my test. And just to give you a context, I'm mining directly into an exchange wallet address. Now let's talk a little bit about Ciro Pool, which is the official mining pool of Ciro itself. The mining pool has a minimum payout of uh, 0.50, which is insanely low in my opinion. Payout runs you know, twice per day and the mining pool fee is 2%. For every one mega hash mining zero, you would get 0 0.48330 at a point of recording this. So I'm pretty sure you will be getting payouts every single day. So now with the wallet, miners and mining pool sorted out, let's go ahead and set up our batch file with T-Rex miner. So to download T-Rex Miner, just go to the official GitHub release page of uh, T-Rex. And again, everything will be linked down in the description below. And just download the latest T-Rex. And in this case, at the point of recording, it's 0.26.4. And you're going to find uh, the one for Windows in this case. And just going to right click and then save link as. And you're going to save into a folder that you have already uh, excluded from the Windows Defender or you know, Windows Security Protection or whatever antivirus. After the download is completed, what you need to do is extract that zip folder and then inside this folder, you will find a lot of batch files. What you need to find is the batch file named 0-0 cache and go ahead and right click and then edit it. If the uh, windows pop out something, okay, you just click okay, more info and then run anyway. And there are really nothing much to edit for this batch file. So you will see that there's like trex.exe, procpower, coin0. The first thing that you need to change is actually this pool address like what we usually do. But in this case, it is already pre-configured for you. It is still uh, a good practice to double check the pool address. So again, go back to the uh, mining pool uh, website. You can see that the pool address is uh, exactly the same as what they have already set for you. And then the port is 8808, which is exactly the same. So this part, you are good to go. And the next thing that you need to change is actually this wallet address, this super long wallet address. So what you need to do is actually, you see, it's even a problem to highlight this. All right, so let me highlight it and then change it to my exchange wallet address. So I think, okay, this is too long to highlight. I'll just have to use the keyboard. All right, so this uh, wallet address, I will change it to my gate.io. In this case, okay, it's an exchange wallet address. So go ahead and paste your wallet address here. So after the wallet address has been pasted here, the last thing that you will need to do is actually change this rig zero to your worker name that you want to put. So in this case, as usual, I'll put it as test bench. Test bench and then just press Control S to save this batch file and then you can close it. Next, you just have to double click this batch file and the miner will run. So now the miner is up and running. You can see that the uh, deck size is 3.05 gigabyte, which means you have to mine with a GPU with a VRAM of larger than this number. So unfortunately, your three gigabyte uh, cards will not be able to mine zero. So minimum four gigabyte. And the next thing that I'll need to do is actually uh, launch MSI Afterburner, which is a software that we need to use to uh, you know adjust the overclock settings, do some power limiting, and also crank up the fan speed. So right now you can see that it is mining at stock settings and I don't even turn up the fan speed. You can see that it is running really hot at 69 degrees Celsius. So I need to uncheck this auto fan and then just put uh, 65 fans and then hit the apply button. You see 
it's actually get a little bit toasty right over here already. And right now, let me talk a little bit about uh, overclocking and power limiting your GPU for zero mining. The algorithm involved in mining zero is called proc power, which is notorious for drawing lots of power and therefore the GPUs will run a lot hotter and toastier than usual when we compare to mining other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum. So power limiting is essential. If you have mined Ravencoin before, which is using the Kapow algorithm, then this is going to be very easy for you. The Kapow algorithm is one of the proc power based algorithms. So the overclocking is going to be the same. Even the hash rate is going to be the same. So the hash rate power consumption that you get uh, from mining Ravencoin is going to be the same as zero. Now to overclock your GPU for zero mining, usually I will start with plus 50 at the core clock and then raise up the core 50 at a time. When you see the hash rate stops going up or the miner or your rig crashes, you reduce the core by 25 until you get the you know, kind of like maximum hash rate, maximum possible hash rate. As for memory clock, you can start with a big jump, say 300 if you have an older card or 500 if you have anything above the RTX 20 series. Then raise by 100 at a time until the hash rate stops going up or the rig crashes. Then you reduce by 50 until it kind of like doesn't crash or it is stable. Next, you will need to power limit your card and find the most efficient setting, which means for the least amount of power, you get the highest hash rate. So in your miner, you will need to pay attention at the efficiency number. And in T-Rex miner, it is uh, written or stated with E. You see the E right over here and you have to pay attention at the number. So it will be in the form of kilo hash per watt. The higher the number goes, the more efficient it is. So I have done overclocking and power limiting my GPU right over here. So for this specific GPU, the best power limit setting is at 78%. And just to show you the clock speed, the memory clock is plus uh, 1000 and the core is plus 150. And with this uh, setting, I am getting 15.61 megahash per second mining zero and the power consumption comes in at 124 watt efficiency number 126 kilo hash per watt and you can also see that the fan speed remains at 65 percent but we have dropped the temperature by a lot like i believe it's like 14 degrees celsius in this case but just to share with you okay every gpu is going to be different even if you have the same exact gpu as i have right over here you your best overclock setting is going to be very different from what i'm showing you right over here so now let's go to the mining pools uh, website and then check our minor statistics. So again, just like any other mining pool out there, what you need to do is actually find a place to key in your mining address. In this case, it's right over here under your stats and payment history. Just paste your address here and then press look up. And then you will go into your miners dashboard. And I would say that this miners dashboard is very um, basic, all right? You don't get the graph that you see like what we have uh, used to see. And here you can see that your immature balance, your pending balance. So once your pending balance uh, it exceeds 0 0.50, then you would you know, get a payout. So you can see that I have tested with one single payout sending the zero directly into my exchange address it has no issue so total paid is 0 0.66 right over here just test I'm, i have just tested once there's no guarantee that uh, you know in the future there's no issue but because you kind of like get pay out like twice a day so if there is any issue with the payment and things like that you can stop mining and figure out what's the solutions okay before you kind of like continue mining to that particular uh, exchange wallet address so they are, the payment okay, is fine for what I've tested and this uh, mining pool dashboard is kind of like pretty uh, basic. You, see, you can see your worker right over here and then yeah, all the information that you expect to see from a mining pool dashboard. Just that it is really, I would say, I, I still want to say it is really basic. All right, so that concludes the entire video, a tutorial video on how to mine zero with your GPU. So do not forget to drop me a like if you find this video helpful.
share to your friends who might be interested in mining zero with a GP spare GPU that they might be using for gaming or production work. You can mine for you know part time and get some extra cash. All right, so subscribe for more crypto mining tutorial uh, or content just like this one. Turn on the notification bell and all the good stuff you know about it. All right, that's all for this video. Happy mining, and I will see you when I see you. Peace out.